book that would make for a very interesting TV series. From humble beginnings growing up in Southern California, legendary radio personality Ted Sobel covered the Hollywood entertainment scene for decades. But his true passion is his career in sports. Lisa Hillary sat down with Ted to discuss his latest book, Touching Greatness. Ted, you've covered all the major sports at the highest level and you've interviewed some you know, legendary athletes over the years. What made you decide to do this book? Well, Lisa, the truth is I've been told so many times you have so many stories, you've got to write a book. And that's pretty much how it started. It got to the point where I started taking notes, this is like about 20 years ago, and just putting it aside. I literally had about 10 just blank sheets of paper that I would scribble, up. okay, if I do something, I don't want to forget that. I put it here, put it there, throw it in a little folder, and it went into a drawer, and I forgot about it. And then about five years ago, I started thinking seriously about it, and once I did it, it's, that's the way I am. It's like, okay, full speed ahead. You've got some great stories, Ted, behind the scenes. Um, some great stories talking about the late Kobe Bryant. And he always made time for everyone. He really did. He was very difficult at the start. I mean, there was, oh, very difficult. It was um, because he was the guy who wasn't the star yet. Because Shaquille O'Neal was the star. I covered Kobe from his first day that he came to the Lakers. And uh, at that time, it was sort of, okay, I'm a teenager. I got to learn. He didn't get a lot of playing time the first year and a half, basically. He rode the bench a lot. But um, he evolved as a person. And as I talk about in the story mm -hmm. about how we're going to miss out on Kobe Bryant, the adult, more than the player. Because the way he evolved and the way he wanted to help society, it, I mean, he was just an amazing guy. One or two stories about Tiger you want to share with us? Yeah, well, the, I was there the first day he took a swing as a pro. He was an invite to Riviera Country Club uh, at the L.A. Open. It wasn't as much about Tiger that day as his father, because his father took us aside, and we interviewed him, and he kept saying, oh, uh, Tiger's not going to just be the greatest golfer in the world. He's going to be the next Gandhi. And it was like, Gandhi? Uh, can he hit the ball straight? That's all I'm worried about. We'll worry about Gandhi. Like, you know, give me a call in 15 years. We'll talk about Gandhi later. So, uh, but he didn't make the cut. And his father, of course, predicted if you're the father of a, of a prodigy like that, you're going to say, of course he's going to make the cut. Well, he missed it by a few strokes. But he played fairly well. But it was a zoo because it wasn't your typical just sports people covering that day or that weekend. It was entertainment tonight and uh, Hollywood reporters and they got everybody out for this thing. So we had to follow them around like the Pied Piper. And it was fascinating because somehow the word got out. It place was packed and everybody was watching Tiger Woods and he and he played very well, missed the cut, but he was 16, I believe at the time, so. What's unique about this book is, is you really go beyond sports. You yeah. go beyond athletes and you get into some fun facts I mean, for, that's what that's what they're called, fun <laughs> facts, on the big screen. Marilyn Monroe, for instance, where she would go after drama class to, <laughs> to eat her favorite chocolate sundae. Yes. Well, it was my favorite place. That's why I brought her into it. It was Will Wright's Ice Cream Parlor, which anybody old enough, and it's been, a, it's been gone a long time now, but anybody old enough to remember Will Wright's, it doesn't get much better. So when I brought back retro restaurants and fun places that we used to eat and hang out, sure. I had to bring that up. I saw a picture of her online while I was writing the story when I was researching something and it was her eating a hot foot sundae and it said she used to go there every day so I got a picture of her eating the hot foot sundae the best ever from Will Wright. I love the Maryland story. Uh, that's going to do it for us here this evening on this edition of Sports Central. Don't forget to check out the book Touching Greatness by Ted Sobel, a friend of ours.